600,000 views later, this is the cloud security project that's going to put you light years ahead of anyone else learning cybersecurity at the moment, part two. No gatekeeping, let's get into it. If you followed along with part one, remember you have your region, you have your VPC, you have your subnet. What's a subnet? Remember, it's a range of IP addresses. You have your security group. What's a security group? Well, it dictates traffic in and it dictates traffic out. You have your EC2, which remember is just a virtual machine. You have your EC2 that wants to hit the outside internet. How does it do that? It uses an internet gateway. How does it know where to go? Well, it uses a route tape. You now have an absolute critical question to ask yourself. Are these correct? Have I configured the security groups correctly? If yes, am I willing to pay for an elastic IP? Do I want monitoring and logging? Do I want knuckles? Do I have an endpoint protection? Do I have AMI patching? Do I have an AWS WAF set up? If the answer is no, because you're a beginner, it's imperative that you put your EC2 again in a security group in a private subnet. What's a private subnet? It's just a range of IP addresses that cannot be seen by the internet. How does my EC2 reach the internet then? Well, it uses a NAT gateway. Well, the hell's a NAT gateway? Well, it allows private subnet EC2s to the outside internet. It's a layer of defense. It means bad guys can't get to your EC2. How does my EC2 know how to get to the internet gateway though and to the internet? It uses a root table again. We're not done yet, but if you enjoy this kind of broken down learning, I recommend that you pre-order my book, Tech 120. It is jam-packed with simple explainers, tools and technologies broke down, and projects that I wish I had at the start of my tech career. We now need a role attached to our EC2. Well, what's the point of a role? It allows the EC2 to do stuff. What stuff? Well, it's dictated in the policy, which is attached to the role. What role do we want? Well, we want SSM role. What the hell's an SSM role? You don't need to worry about it too much, although I do recommend looking at the policy, but it's going to allow us to connect to our EC2. In part three, once connected to the EC2, we look at how we can install Docker to install the Juice Shop, which is a vulnerable web app. We do this all through Terraform, which is infrastructure as code. Part four, we start looking at AWS, WAF, Cloud Trails, EBS, KMS. In this episode, you've learned what a role is, a policy is, connect to our EC2, and that gateway, a public versus a private subnet. Follow me for part three and four.